Hello. Today we are going to create hashtag system to our app. Let's start. So first step is that we take a copy of this row and paste it back inside the column. Then we can remove this value that we had here already. Make a duplicate of this text, then click on the row and space both of these to the left side of the row. This text we can change to hashtag symbol. And this is the text where hashtag will appear. Let's give this row a bit of push. Then remember that we have two list views in our home page, so also paste it to the bottom list view. Great. Now we can go to our Firebase collections, add now field to our posts, which will be called hashtag, and type will be string. Then take a duplicate of this home page and rename this as hashtag feed. Then edit the app bar so that you have back button. Then we can remove these buttons from here. Delete one of the list views. Remove the conditional visibility. And give this a bit of padding. Make sure that this has navigate back set up and wrap this text in to a row. Then make a duplicate of this text. The first text is going to be hashtag symbol. And the second text is going to be hashtag. Then we can go to our homepage. Click on the row and add conditional visibility to it. Choose single condition. Hashtag is set and not empty. Then take a copy of this action. And paste it in here. Choose hashtag again. and confirm. Then we can remove this hashtag page from the navigation bar. Then it's time to go to our post page. Add text field widget in here. Rename this text field as hashtag. Then edit the create document action. Add new field in here. This will be hashtag. And value will be text field. And close. Then we can go to our home page. Add value to this and choose post hashtag. And same thing on the bottom list view in case you have two of them. Then add action to that row. Action will be navigate to hashtag feed. We are going to define a parameter. Give your parameter a name. Type will be string and confirm. Then pass the parameter and value will be hashtag from the post. And do the same thing with the other list view.
Now we can go to our hashtag feed. Click on the list view. We are going to add filter to our query. Filter will be hashtag, must be equal to, page parameter, and confirm. Then I have couple icon buttons in here that are invincible. I'm going to delete these. Now we can go to our Firebase collections and validate everything in here. Then let's close this and go to our post page. I'm going to adjust these colors of the text fields so my hashtag will not be invincible. Great. Now the last thing is that we go back to our hashtag feed and on the post and on the topic of this page. We are going to link the hashtag. Give this some random default value. And now we can finally try out our app. I'm going to create a random post. Hashtag will be Flutterflow and post. And our hashtag shows in here. Now, if I click on this row, it only shows posts with the same hashtag. Let's create another post with same hashtag. And now, here is two posts. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you found this tutorial useful in your project. I will see you in my next video and have a great day.